On the website, it said they had the best burgers in Vegas, so I didn't feel right ordering a salad. here for a while and it just never worked out but we're here now and um, if you know me at all you know I'm not really a burger person but on the website it said they had the best burgers in Vegas so I didn't feel right ordering a salad I decided on the forager burger which is beef and mushroom blend it also has mixed greens creamy steak sauce a fried egg tomato confit, marmalade onions, and Swiss cheese. I thought all of those things sound really good, so maybe they'll be good together. I also opted for the onion rings because I love onion rings. What was this? Chipotle ranch, maybe. Ready? Mm. That's a good onion ring. Whoa, that looks good. Yeah, that's a good combination of ingredients. I haven't tasted any of the steak sauce. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to taste like, but I don't think I got any. I was worried about that part because I couldn't imagine having steak sauce on this burger, but it said creamy, so I thought maybe it would be different than your standard steak sauce, which I'm guessing it is because I haven't tasted it. Okay, and I do love burgers, so I'm looking forward to this. I got the Nom Nom Burger, which is a dry aged sirloin patty with cheddar cheese, house potato chips, which it sounds like something I would have done as a kid and did do as a kid, and also Thousand Island dressing, because why not? I'll tell you what I love about that burger, is it has that made at home flavor to it, like it was cooked out on a grill. The charcoal grill to be specific. And with those potato chips on, thrown on there for that extra crunch, it absolutely feels like, kind of like a comfort food. I really like it, the bun's really good too. And I also got fries as a side. They're fries, they're good. Checking back in after we ate our meal, and we did eat all of it. It was a lot of food. Honestly, I loved my burger. I thought it was delicious. It didn't feel like I was eating a burger. It was kind of like eating a salad on a sandwich, which is perfect for me. I really was done about halfway through though. I couldn't eat all the onion rings. Those sides that we got, which by the way, are not included in the price, they're extra. Those were smalls. I don't even want to know how large the, the large is, but um, that was $4 add-on to like a $20 burger for both of us. So I thought it was pretty pricey. I don't think there exists in the world a burger I think would be worth $20, but that's just me. I'm sure Chris would disagree. Um, but I thought mine came pretty close. I mean, it was a really good combination of flavors. I never did taste that steak sauce that I was worried about. So, um, but all of those ingredients really made it very juicy. Um, so it really didn't need any sauce at all, no ketchup, nothing. Um, it, they just all blended together really well. 